G'day guys, welcome to the channel. It's Matt here again. Since the last video where we were waiting for everything to dry out to be able to get back into the paddock, we just got another 30 mil of rain. So yeah, I was just just about ready to be able to get some stuff done and got, got rain again. So uh, yes, more shed jobs. Now, currently we've got the 280 Versatile over there. Um, we're just working on the starter motor on it. There'll be a bit of footage of that later in the video. Um, but what I'm currently up to is the JX here is just getting a little bit of love. Now, we had a bit of water coming in through the roof um just when it rained so that's obviously not good so found the problem was the uhf aerial that went through there um, had come loose so it wasn't there wasn't a seal there and whenever it was installed um, there was no silicon or anything put around it so uh yes that is an issue um we did also didn't have the fan um uh, fans working and that was because there was a little melted out um terminal so i ground out the old plug and put another terminal on that wire and uh, yeah, that should be good to go. And we're also putting a new um, AM FM radio. Well, not a new one, it was one we had lying around uh, because the one there was getting dripped on a little bit and no longer works. So that's getting done. Now, the air conditioning, ever since we've had this, we've had troubles with the air conditioning. Um, just there's been a slow leak and we're just gonna bite the bullet and get a new compressor. Um, you can see there that compressor's just leaking out from the seal at the front. Um, and yeah, it's just easier to get a whole new compressor. And it's due for it too, because I really need a new receiver dryer on it as well, because it's been without gas for quite a while. Um, so yeah, that should all have those parts tomorrow. And other than that, we're just going through it, checking it over. Um, Phil was using this to push out silt um, out of one of the contours um, where the contour goes into the waterway um, in the rain, so that's why it is absolutely filthy. We're back again. We're here with Matt. He just pulled the um, starter motor off the 280, the versatile. It was not engaging as it should have. There's quite a bit of electrical arcing on the solenoid switch there. And so he's asked me just to turn the copper down on this part of it too, so that we can... Um, hopefully get a better engagement. So what's your plan here, Matt? What are you gonna do with these ones? You're gonna um, try and take take them out and, and trim them up too? I'll take them out. We might be able to find some in town, but I might be able to just tidy them up. They haven't actually worn down at all. So just give them a freshen up maybe. Might get away with that, but we'll need new bearings to go on the drive and the, um, yeah, and the all right. armature that you've got. All right, I'll have a crack at this. I'll put her in the lathe and see how we go.
satisfactory or you want something yeah, different to that? What about the, you got to need to clean out the grooves? Yeah, or? I'll just use a little screwdriver. little ball that goes down the end of that and you put a little grease on there so the ball doesn't fall back out. Now yeah, apologies I couldn't go into too much detail putting this together, there was just a lot of noise and background happenings that was making it difficult to um, yeah, go right through it, but there will be time down the track no doubt when there will be plenty of time to go through a more in depth starter motor rebuild. See if it works. Try it a couple of times. Right, eh? Well, let's hope that lasts another, what, seven and a half thousand hours. I think that's the first time that starter motor's been touched. But uh, yes, no, they're a good good design starter motor, those ones, because um, they're easily rebuildable. That's this tractor done. We'll see what else. Um, yeah, might have to go back over to the JX, finish that off. Um, and while we're still waiting for it to dry out. So the other thing we've got going on here, um, we're back here at the JX95. Got the seat back in. We pulled it out. Um, Brad rebuilt that. I think it was just a few missing bolts and bushes and things were all flogged out. Um, so that is good to go. I think everything else is pretty well under control, but I've just still got to do the air conditioning system. So um, I think I showed you earlier, but the air compressor here is leaking there. Um, so it has been for a little while. And yeah, so obviously no gas in it. So gonna just pull this apart and we've got a compressor, we've got a receiver dryer 
and gonna just regas it and that should be fine then. We shouldn't have any more issues in theory. Right, so I got the compressor and receiver dryer off. Um, now, because the compressor didn't actually fail, uh, I'm not gonna flush out the system. Um, generally, if there's just a leak in the system, it's obvious you can see there that, yeah, the actual internals of the compressor don't look, look crook. What I will usually do is get a bit of paper or white cloth and tip the oil out from in here and, uh, and just double check there's no metal chunks in there. Uh, if it is, that's really not good. Righto, so we've got the compressor in. Um, you always want to do your receiver dryer last, so I'll do that last. Um, but I do have my O-rings here, the new ones. Got just a O-ring kit for air conditioning systems. Yeah, and we've got a bit of refrigerant grade um, lubricant spray. Um, so we just want to give the O-rings a, a spray of that. And then we put them on the fittings that they need to go. So I've got the system fully sealed. So what generally you do now is put it on the vac pump because you need it on the vac pump for an hour or so. Um, that just gets all the moisture out of the lines. It creates all the internals of the air conditioning system into a vacuum, which then boils off all the moisture in the lines. And you don't want any moisture in, in your air conditioning system. Um, so yeah, we usually leave that on for about an hour, depending on the humidity. And yeah, while we do that, usually I start hooking up the wires and things that need to be done too. So we'll do that. So connected there. Turn the vac pump on. I'll set the gauges up so they can be seen. You can see the gauges there at the minute. There's no pressure in there. It's on zero. Zero there, obviously, too. And fire it up. And crack this open. See it's drawing down. So yeah, we just leave that on for quite a while and um, you usually find something else to do. Righto, so we've had it on the back for probably an hour or so. And now we've just got the gas bottle hooked up over there. Got the scales there. That lets us know how much gas is going in. Um, if you know how much gas or refrigerant the system takes then you don't need to worry about pressures and that when you're um, gassing it so you either do it by weight or you can look at the sight glass that's usually on the receiver dryer and as long as the pressures aren't too high um, it's when the bubbles disappear is roughly right um, the right amount of refrigerant in there
So we've got it going in there. So it tells us how much is coming out. So this one takes 1400 grams, so 1.4 kilos. So just let that go. Make sure I can't hear any hissing. So we just got the tractor running now as you can hear. And we just need to put another 400 grams in. So when the low side comes down, we just crack the low side. Don't want too much to go in. Just leave it about there and then it's slowly just drawing the refrigerant in until we get to the total amount that we want. So I just got to pack up the air conditioning gear for the JX there, but what Brad has been doing in his spare time is this is the transfer case um, for my ute, which if you watched, I think it was last video or a couple of videos ago, um, we had to swap over because I didn't have any four wheel drive. Um, now we have found the problem and they're nothing too badly damaged except this here. Um, is where a circlip goes and we, uh, the circlip was on there but it had slid up about maybe three four mil and that was just enough so that this didn't engage properly so this was back another four or five mil and it wasn't engaging into the um into the teeth there so that was the issue well guys we're just heading home for the day you can see out there there's a couple of clouds they were talking possibility at a bit of, of a bit of rain which there is some out there but um yes i think we're in the clear for now but anyway that'll be it for this video uh, hopefully next week there'll be a bit more exciting content as far as we should be able to get back in the paddock and there is some things arriving i think i'll say so that should uh yeah makes for some good content but anyway, just remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one.